So this is my wind up barn door that I made. It's a, it's a fabric, it's like a sunshade fabric. Um, it's roughly 75 foot. I made it so that I could use all the bays in this barn because originally it was a it was a dairy barn and it had like a milking parlor in it and it had all kinds of different stalls and it had lofts. Uh, I took all the lofts out except for the one down on the end. That's my wood shop down there. Um, and I made bays out of it. So this way I can, you know, back in my hay equipment, I can stack the hay. I don't have to do any of it by hand or at least minimize all that. You know, and it gives you a lot of storage too when the barn's empty and you can really utilize it. But uh, I'll show you how I made it here. So down on this end, uh, you'll see a cable running up. That's my support cable. This pipe actually rolls up that cable. Um, I'll show you how that works in a bit here. Another thing I've done, I'm going to get an echo out of the, the pipe, is this cable here. You'll notice it winds itself the other way than that winds. I get away from the echo here. So what happens is as this pipe rolls up, it unwinds this coil so that way it's always secured and as it winds itself back down it rolls itself tight into the ground so the wind can't push this away from the building otherwise it would be just one big sail so kind of a safety thing I did it's also very necessary um, I'll show you the winch setup because there's only a winch on one end so if you just winched up that one end the, the tubing would just lift like that when it's rolling so this way it holds it level and it has to all unwind evenly and I'll show you a little more about that. So you'll see a support cable here. You'll notice them all the way down the length of this tube. Another one there. Another one there. These are the cables that this, this pipe winds up. That way it supports the pipe the whole length across it. You know, otherwise it would bow and break and it, it just wouldn't hold up. So that's 8 inch schedule 40 pipe I used. So here's the whole winding mechanism down here on the end. This is where all the real action takes place. Um, this is your winch cable. It goes up to a pulley up there and it comes back down to my wood shop where there's a winch. This is your support cable, just like the whole length of them. You know, it supports this end. And that's my counter roll cable. One that's tight to the ground, holds the pipe to the ground so it doesn't blow away and forces it to counter roll. So on your winch cable, as it's winching up, it wants to pull this pipe up. It just wants to just pull it up, but it can't. It clicks. You're going to get it right in the way. Um, so as it's pulling up, it, wants, it would just want to just pull this pipe up on level, you know, and it would pull this end up and that end would stay on the ground but it can't just pull it up because it's spooled to the ground. So in order for it to go up like it wants to, it has to unspool itself from here. So as it unspools itself from here, it winds itself up this winch cable and it winds itself up this cable. So real, real simple, real easy. There's not too much for moving parts, just steel cable and a winch. I'll show you a little bit about that in the inside. Uh, here's the winch right here. It's all it is, just a 3,000 pound champion winch. I made a little bit more of a bracket here so I could lag bolt it into the lumber real good. Some solid beams here. Um, that's pretty much it. It just runs up, goes over a pulley here, goes up to the top of that barn beam, goes over a pulley and comes back down. Here's the inside of it all. You see I left a little bit of fabric extra. Um, I just rolled this door down, but as this, it'll kind of settle down here and it blocks any gaps down below. Uh, you can see it pulls itself nice and taut. It repels a lot of water this way. Keeps out a lot of the wind. I mean the snow just deflects right off of it. For the most part the water just runs off of it. And uh, keeps all my stuff protected in here. And right now they're just hanging by the tension of the cable. So let's go ahead and wind it up. So to do that, you just come over to this control right here and you just hit the winch up button.
when I cheat, I actually got this clamp right here. I don't know if I can do it one-handed here, but you just clamp your button. It's a little hard to do one-handed. I just got a clamp. I cheat. That way you got to stand there and hold it. There is your door coiling itself up. It's not the fastest door in the world, but you don't set it up and down a whole lot throughout a day, you know? You kind of put it up and you leave it up. Might want to put a bigger winch on there, but you know, this door is not super heavy. I always hate walking under it just because it's not secured yet, but here we go. Here's the cable magic. You see all of it working. Makes funny noises up on that wood there. That cable kind of is sliding through the wood. I need to cut some more of that out. But, you know, it's smooth enough. See, it doesn't take all that long, really. Yeah, right where that cable comes up to that pulley, it slides across that wood board up there. I think it creates a lot more tension than what's needed. I need to saw a little bit of that away, but right now it's full of hay and straw and I just can't get to it. So then when you're done winching up, I have this guy right here. I don't know what you call it, a cable clamp or something like that that I put in here, it's on a chain. So you pull that up like that, and then you set the door down just a little bit. <laughs> what that does is that takes, I'll show you here a little better. Notice there's no longer any tension on this winch cable. It's all on this cable clamp, and I do leave the winch just a touch tight. <laughs> That's a safety thing, so if the winch were to fail, because they're not made for lifting, if it were to fail, this guy's your hold. It keeps all the tension off that winch as well. So, just some safety stuff to think about. And, uh, yeah, you got a working door. It's up and secured, it's safe, it's out of the way. It rolls up nice, rolls up easy, it's just push button. And you got full utilization of the entire barn. So, thanks for watching guys.